This video is going to show you how you can remove apps like Freevee and Prime Video from your Fire TV stick. This is handy if you quite frankly don't use them and want to clean up a little bit of extra space. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So you don't use Freevee and you don't use Prime Video. You're not an Amazon Prime subscriber, yet you've got these apps built into your system. So how do you remove them? Well, it's quite easy. Just follow this guide right till the end. So let's go for it. First of all, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to press the home button on the remote control. That's the picture of the house. Go across to the magnifying glass, go down middle button and just type downloader. And as you're typing it, it should appear below the keyboard. Once you see it, highlight it, middle button on the remote and then highlight this orange and white icon that says downloader with the arrow pointing down middle button. Then middle button again when this screen loads. Now, if you've already got it, it will open up. But if you haven't got it, then it will just download and install. This hopefully shouldn't take too long. Just be patient with it. Once it's downloaded and installed, you should see open like it shows on mine. Once you see open, middle button on the remote control. This bit is very important. You must allow downloader to access photos, media and files on your device. If you deny it, downloader isn't going to work. So make sure that allow is highlighted. Once allows highlighted, middle button on the remote control and then middle button again to get rid of the quick start guide. Then what we're going to need to do is press the back button twice to come out, press the home button to go back to the main menu and then go across all the way to the right to the settings cog. Once that's highlighted, then go down to my fire TV, then press the middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options. Now, if you like mine, you don't see it, then all you need to do is go into about and then find the name of your device and highlight it. Like mine, mine says Fire TV Stick 4K. Yours may say something different. Just press the middle button on the remote control until you see no need, you're already a developer, come up at the bottom of the screen. Then stop pushing the middle button. Then press the back button on the remote and there you should see developer options just below about. Go down to developer options, middle button, and then go down to apps from unknown sources. If it's set to off, like mine is, middle button on the remote control, middle button again, and then it goes to on. If you've got install unknown apps instead of apps from unknown sources, then all you need to do is highlight install unknown apps, middle button on the remote control, go down to downloader. And if it's switched off like mine, middle button, and that turns it on. Then we need to go to ADB debugging and make sure that is switched on. If it's switched off like mine, highlight it, middle button, and that will turn it on. Press the home button on the remote control again to go back to the main menu and then go down and in to downloader. Once you're in downloader, press the up button once to get your cursor in the box, middle button to get the on-screen keyboard up and type in there 21203. That's 21203. Then press the play pause button on your remote and wait for my website to load. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Once it's loaded, then what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll down the page a bit and try and find the uh, D bloat tool. So, oh, just gone past it. That is the sticking plaster just there. So let's move our mouse over that or our circle over it, middle button on the remote, and then hopefully it should start to download. And then once you see this screen or a screen like it, keep pressing the down button until cancel's highlighted. Press the right button so that install's highlighted and then middle button. Once it says app installed, press the middle button and then you should go back to this screen here, press the right button to highlight the first delete middle button, press the left hand side of the remote to highlight the second delete middle button. And then keep tapping the left hand side of the remote until home is highlighted, middle button, back button twice. Press and hold the home button on the remote control, go across to apps, middle button, then go down to the blue sticking plaster, 
middle button. Now, in actual fact, before I actually do anything with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things. I'm just going to press the home button on the remote again, and I'm going to just check, just go across to settings and then to applications and then down to manage installed applications and see how much space I've got. So I've got 1.15 gigabytes available. Back button on the remote, back button again. And this is very important. This will sometimes help if ADB debugging isn't switched on properly. I'm going to just restart the uh, fire stick. So press and hold the middle button on the remote control while pressing and holding the play pause button. Keep it held down until it says that your device is powering off and then let go. There you go. I've just let go. Let it restart. The fire stick is now restarting. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. Just be patient with it. We'll come back to this once the fire TV stick has restarted. So there we are, it's now restarted. So let's just go down again to the blue sticking plaster, middle button, and then what we wanna do is we wanna just go down this list here and we wanna tick the boxes that apply to Prime Video and IMDB. So, okay, so I don't use Prime Video or Freevee. IMDB was the old name for Freevee and this is an older app, so it's still referring to Freevee as IMDB. So let's just tick com.amazon.avod, com.amazon.firebat, com.amazon.device messaging, and com.amazon.device messaging.sdk internal library, and also com.amazon.messaging SDK library. And then we want to leave the rest of these. And we want to go down to, I'm going to do this as well, actually, com.amazon.kso.blackbird. That blocks A&E apps like A&E Lifetime History and Lifetime Movies. I don't watch any of those. So let's do that. So let's just go down a little bit further. And we're looking for IMDB. So there we go. com.amazon.imdb.tv Android app. That is the IMDB app stub. So I'm going to put a tick next to that. That is now Freevee. And I've also scrolled right the way down to the bottom and I've gone to com.imdb living room dot fire TV. And that again is IMDB TV. So let's put a tick in that. Just going to go back up and just double check that I've put ticks in the right places. So, yep. Yep, I wanted uh, A&E as well. And just make sure I've only ticked all the prime video ones. Yep, that's it. OK, so once I've done that, let's go up to the top and then press the right hand side of the ring on the remote to highlight the play button, middle button on the remote control. And then this will come up, allow USB debugging, put a tick in the box to the left of always allow from this computer and then go down to OK and middle button. And there we go. So it said changing state of nine apps or eight apps. So hopefully now those apps should have gone. Let's just press the home button on the remote once. And as I can see along the top there, Prime Video is still showing up there, but let's try going into it. It won't go into it. And let's see if we can find Freevee. So I'm going to press and hold the home button on the remote, go across to apps, middle button, and Freevee has now disappeared from my apps. So let's go across to the settings cog and then down to applications and then to manage installed applications. And as you can see, I've saved a bit of space there already. So let's just go into the manage installed applications list. And as you can see now, Freevee has disappeared from there. What about Prime Video? Prime Video has also disappeared. Now, what if you need to get them back? So let's just go back into the uh, debloater tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to remove the ticks from all of those things that we ticked before. Now, you might find that some of the things aren't ticked quite simply. Let's just untick all the ones that were ticked and then let's go back up to the top or just press the right part of the ring on the remote control so that the play buttons highlighted, middle button. And then again, if you get this allow USB debugging come up, put a tick to the left of always allow from this computer, go down to OK, middle button.
if you get this saying, please make sure that USB debugging is turned on, restart the device if this shows them for more than 10 seconds, then what you really need to do is once again, press and hold the middle button on the remote along with the play pause button until you get the message to say that your device is powering off just like it's gonna come up now. Let it power off and restart. And once it's restarted, just go back into the, uh, the blue sticking plaster. And once again, just untick all the boxes that are ticked. Again, some of them may not still be ticked, but don't worry. And then once you've unticked them all, then press the right hand part of the ring on the remote control to highlight the play button at the top of the screen, middle button, and there we go. It should just go back to this screen here. And let's just check, press the home button, Let's just try and go into Prime Video. And there we go, Prime Video's back working. And I'm also gonna try going into Freevee. So I'm gonna press and hold the home button on the remote until this menu appears just here. Go across to Apps, middle button, find Freevee. There it is, go into it. And there we go, Freebie's loaded. Sometimes it might ask you to reinstall the app. Sometimes it'll go straight in like mine just has. So there you go, that guide showed you how to remove Prime Video and Freevee from your Fire TV stick and get it back if ever you need it back. If you want to, you can keep the blue sticking plaster on the Fire TV stick or you can remove it. It doesn't take up a great deal of space. If you do want to remove it, then just press and hold the home button on the remote until this menu appears. Go across to apps, middle button, Go down, find it in this list, press the three horizontal lines, go down to uninstall, middle button, and then go down to the second uninstall, middle button, and then go to OK and let it uninstall. Once it's uninstalled, the icon will disappear. I hope this video helps, and if it did, why not help support this channel? Have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a new VPN, a new Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, we've got loads of links down there giving you some great deals. Buying through these links really does help support this channel. It enables me to dedicate more time to researching and bringing these great videos to you. And also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos on my channel right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.